want to thank everybody for joining us. I want to invite you to have uh, Ash Wednesday. Now, I know Ash Wednesday isn't a tradition for everybody, and uh, we know that, but if it is part of your tradition or if you want to add to your tradition, this is your opportunity to do this from home, or you can come tonight from 7 uh, p.m. Uh, to 9 p.m. for a few minutes to get some ashes, communion, and, and just be in the sanctuary for prayer. But I want to read some scripture as a reminder of what this season is about. It's about repenting, remembering that we fail God. This is Psalm 51. Have mercy on me, O God, according to your steadfast love, according to your abundant mercy. Blot out my transgressions. Wash me through from my inequity and cleanse me from my sin. For I know my transgressions and my sin is ever before me. Against you, you alone have I sinned and, and done what is evil in your sight, so that you are justified in your sentence and blameless when you pass judgment. Indeed, I was born guilty, a sinner, when my mother conceived me. You desire truth in the inward being. Then I, I go down to verse 10, which I love. It says, Create in me a clean heart, O God, and put a new and right spirit within me. Do not cast me away from your presence, and do not take your Holy Spirit from me, but restore me. So this is a time for restoration, and I want to show you here that we are planning for uh, for you to receive ashes. You're, I'm going to be wearing a mask. We're going to put the ashes with a uh, Q-tip to keep you safe. And now to close, I just want to read uh, a words from Pope Francis. Uh, the Catholic uh, Pope, which I thought these words were beautiful about fasting. He says, do you want to fast this Lent? Fast from hurting and, and say kind words. Fast from sadness and be filled with gratitude. Fast from anger and be filled with patience. Fast from pessimism and be filled with hope. Fast from worries and trust in God. Fast from complaints and contemplate simplicity. Fast from pressures and be grateful. Fast from bitterness and fill your heart with joy. Fast from selfishness and be compassionate to others. Fast from grudges and be reconciled. Fast from words and be silent so you can listen. May God bless you. Go in peace. Go to our uh, e-blast or our website and you'll, read, you'll find some scriptures to read in this season. Now may God bless you and keep you. Amen.